According to the expert, the coronation of King Charles should be carried out properly. But is it happening? Because the rumors had to tell some different kind of story, which says Harry's Archie will overshadow the King's coronation. Well, what is happening and what is the heat all about? Let's dive into the video to know it all only on Royal Stories. It's possible that another significant event that coincides with King Charles' coronation will steal the spotlight from his big day. The birthday of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's son, Archie, will fall on May 6th, the same day that Charles will formally ascend the throne. The family will celebrate the occasion together. The conflict has the potential to exacerbate royal tensions between the House of Windsor and the House of Sussex. Buckingham Palace made the announcement of the coronation date earlier this year, but they did not provide any additional information regarding the reasoning for their decision. The king will be crowned at Westminster Abbey alongside his wife, Queen Consort Camilla, at an occasion that is likely to bring together all members of the royal family. International leaders, state officials, and other religious luminaries from throughout the world. The birthday celebration for Archie, who is turning four, will however take place on the same day as the royal event. Following a series of disagreements between Harry and Meghan and members of the royal family, ever since the couple parted ways with the firm in 2020, the date of the wedding was finally revealed. The conflict was brought into clearer focus at the beginning of December as the American-based couple made a series of charges against the royal family in their docuseries, Harry and Meghan, which broadcast on Netflix. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have leveled allegations against the royal household without naming anyone specifically, alleging that the royal household is waging a media war against them by purposefully planting negative stories about them in an effort to divert attention from less favorable coverage of other royals. There was a real kind of war against Meghan, and I've certainly seen evidence that there was a negative briefing from the palace against Harry and Meghan to suit other people's agenda. Jenny Afia, a partner at Schilling's Law Firm in London, said in the Netflix docuseries, There was a real kind of war against Meghan, Jenny Afia said. There was a real kind of war against Meghan. The final straw in a campaign of harsh and vicious media about her was this onslaught of negative pieces about the disintegration of their relationship with their father. In a further damning accusation, the Duke of Sussex claimed that his father's office leaked private correspondence between him and King Charles to the media regarding the latter's attention to move to Canada. This allegation centered on the Duke's plans to leave the United Kingdom and settle in Canada. He stated that the key piece of the story that made me aware that the contents of the letter between me and my father had been leaked was that we were willing to relinquish our Sussex titles. This was the key piece of the story that made him aware that the contents of the letter between him and his son had been leaked. That should have been a red flag. Prince Harry also claimed that his brother, Prince William, yelled and screamed at him during a crisis session that took place in January 2020 at Singringham in front of the Queen. Prince Harry alleged that this took place. Harry asserted that his wife, Meghan, had been deliberately excluded from the gathering in which the couple's intention to step back from royal duties were to be addressed because she had been excluded from the invitation list. It was very terrible to have my brother yell and shout at me and my father say things that were just untrue. And my grandma silently sit there and sort of take it all in, he added. It was very terrifying to have my father say things that just were simply untrue. During an interview that Prince Harry gave with the host of a talk show in the United States named Oprah Winfrey, he stated that he felt really let down by Prince Charles, claiming that Charles had stopped taking his calls in the lead-up to the Mexit crisis, and stated that there was a lot of hurt. Later on, he criticized the way that Charles acted as a parent, saying that he should not have expected his kids to be able to withstand the constraints of royal life. And he said that Charles' upbringing had caused him to have a genetic agony and suffering. That's all for the video today. If you want to watch more such gossip about the royal family, you know where to come. Until then, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.